the day. excited to be seated in this sacred place we call sanctuary looked up this morning and it was 1201 I said thank you God for one more year amen amen 2023 uh, I want to read the scripture to you this morning I want to read the scripture to you this morning uh, coming out of Psalm 27 Psalm 27 for David said, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Were the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fail. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war shall arise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing I have desired of the Lord that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord. How long, David, all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me he shall set me up upon a rock. Let us pray. Father, how we thank you. How we praise you. For God, we realize that you are God. And besides you, there are no other gods. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, O oh God. For if it had not been for you, we wouldn't have got up this morning. If it had not been for you, we would have not been able to put two feet on the ground. We wouldn't be able to lift up hands and say thank you, Jesus. For it is another day's journey. And we're glad about it. And then, God, we're glad that we're on top of the ground. Hallelujah. And the ground is not on top of us. Yes. Thank you for life. Thank you. thank you for loved ones. God, we thank you that we still have our mind. Yes. And it's in our right mind. We thank you for that. And then, God, we lift up this service unto you. We say, Spirit of a living God. Have your way. Come in this place. Even though we all we have a program, you be the program. Amen. You lead us into worship. Yes. Touch every heart. Yes. Touch every spirit. Yes. Touch every soul. Yes. God, some this morning may be feeling down. I pray you lift up that spirit. Some may feel sick, heal that body. God, put in them strength. Put in them, God, a testimony that it was nobody but you. And then, God, we even pray today for your preach word. And God, even though we have our own 
way of doing things. We pray, God, that you would just let your will be done. Yes, Lord. Yes, thank, you. thank you for those that will sing, those who will celebrate you today. Yes. For it is in your name we pray. Yes. Yes. It is in your name we thank you. Yes. And all together we say amen. amen. And amen. Come on, clap your hands and give God praise. Look at somebody say, I come to have church. I come to have church. What I want you to do is just, listen, I know uh, we're still in COVID. Just go find at least two people and tell them it's good to see you on today. It's good to see you on today. Come on, just go shake a hand, shake a hand. Listen, others are coming. Don't worry about the crowd. Yes, it's good to see you. Good to see you. Is that big light right there? Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Dr. Mike, give me that little one. Good morning. Good morning, Pastor. Love you. Love you. Just turn this mic up just a little bit for me. It will be good. Give me a little volume on this. Just a little bit. Everybody love everybody. Max again, everybody love everybody. At this time, we're going to ask for our announcements to come. We're going to ask for our announcements to come uh, from our announcement clerk. Mama, you coming up? Y'all, let's give my, let's give Maddie. Come on, that's my my call. Treasures on earth. 
Every life, every life, life matters, whether brief or long. We each sing a different but meaningful song. The life we are given was planned long ago by God up in heaven. For he made it so. He wished our name before we knew. But how much he would love us and all he would do. The stars in the heavens give honor to him by shining his glory again and again. The hairs on our head are numbered, you see. Bye, bye, bye. And God has a plan for you and for me. He's strong in our weakness and carries our pain, eases our troubles, forgiving our shame. Every life matters as God has expressed, for we are his children, the best of the best. We sparkle as diamonds in the eye of our king, his treasure on earth, what a beautiful thing. And I'm assuming it's time for our
Can you lift up your hands and say, Lord, it was nobody but you. It was you. Say, you, oh Lord, there's nobody like Jehovah. Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Nisi. Jehovah Shalom.
us all say amen. Amen. Can we say amen again? Amen. It's good to be here. Amen. Hallelujah. We give honor to our King, yes. our Lord, yes. and our God. What we're going to do now. Allow me to do tithe and offer it after we have preached our sermon. Amen. Just believe people give more when they feel a little better. Amen. Can the church say amen? Amen. I believe we're going to have a good offering today. Can the church say amen? Amen. For God has been good to us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I tried again. God has been good to us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Better than we've been to ourselves. Yes, yes. I am Holy Ghost happy. Peacock proud to be standing behind this sacred desk. Amen. Amen. As we give honor to the late Bishop Michael Marcus Broadus. Amen. Come on, let's thank God for him. Thank God for all of the preachers, the bishops, the pastors that are here on today. Amen, amen. Thank God for our deacons. Hallelujah. I say deacons in plural because we have to speak those things and be not. Yes, yes. Somebody going to talk to me in a minute. Amen. Hallelujah. As though they are. Yes. I see deacons stretched across from both front rows. Yes. And the place is filled with those who want to come give God name the glory. Amen. Uh, but there's no vision. Hallelujah. The people perish. Mm -hmm. But happy is he that keepeth the law. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. My Maddie. Thank you. My mama name was Maddie. Hallelujah. Her last name Wilson. My mama name was Wilson. Hallelujah. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Hallelujah. So it gave me a great privilege <laughs> to be sitting, standing behind here today. Amen. Amen. Thank you, musicians. So far, they, they're doing a wonderful job. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'd like you to put the sticks up. Don't, don't go, please. Stay with us for a, a little while longer. We thank God for our organist today, too. Amen. 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 Come on, let's thank God for him. You know, when you come to a new place, you're going to preach something old. And I say that because I know this record by heart. I can preach this by heart. Somebody say amen. Amen, amen. But I believe it is very befitting for the season and time in which we have embarked upon today. Hallelujah. In Genesis, brother, in Mark chapter 4, in Mark chapter 4, Mark chapter 4, the organ sure sound good. <laughs> Mark chapter 4. Thank you for all the ushers. Amen. Hallelujah. I see so many ushers back there. I don't know what to do. Hey, thank you, Sister Shannon. Sister Shannon, we thank God for you. Even being ill did not exclude her from being faithful. Amen. Hallelujah. That's where we get our blessings in. And sometimes serving God doesn't mean you feel like serving God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It comes with the fact that you love Him. Yes. Yes. And sometimes when you show up at church, it's just because I love God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. It don't mean I'm feeling all the way well. Mm. It means I'm in love with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Yes, Lord. yes. Mark chapter 5. I want to look at verse 35. I want to read when you get there. Just get there and read it in your private time. And the same day when evening was come, he 
said unto them, Come on, let us go. Let us pass over to the other side. I think that's enough for today. Look at somebody say, let us pass over. Let us pass over. To the other side. To the other side. Look at somebody say, come on, come on, come on. Let us pass over. To the other side. Can, can you tell yourself there's another side to this? There's another side to this. Let us pass over. Hey, to the other side. You may be seated. Let us pass over. Father, give us power and strength to preach your word on today. Let us pass over to the other side. I could say, let us pass over to a different side. Amen, amen. Because I believe God has something different for us. Yes. I believe God has something different for us. The Cedar Grove Missionary Baptist Church. Hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> I believe God has more in store for those that love Him. Yes, yes. I believe God wants to do more now than He has ever done. Yes, yes. Anybody believe that? Just shout amen right where you are. Amen, amen. Let me say it again. God wants, desires to do more now. Yes. Than he ever has done in your life. So we're talking about cross. Let's cross over to the other side. And in this text, brothers and sisters, Jesus has commissioned his disciples to get into a ship. He has commissioned them to get into a ship and understanding that when they get into the ship, listen to me, that. The Bible says they got into a great storm. Mm. And we need to understand, brothers and sisters, that serving God is not a day in the park. Amen, amen. Serving God is not a walk at the beach. Yes, Lord, yes. Serving God comes with its own turbulence. It comes with its own trials. It comes with its own troubles. Hallelujah. That if indeed you are on the battlefield and if you signed up for the Christian Jubilee, you're going to go through some storms. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Uh, you better not believe that preacher who's telling you that life uh, will be without storms. This is not uh, that kind of preacher. I wouldn't lie to you, but I want to tell you that storms are real. And not only are storms real, I come by to tell you that storms will visit us every once in a while. I don't care how much you go to church. I don't care how much you read your Bible. I really don't care how much you attend Bible study. The truth be told, storms come to all of us. I know you love the Lord and he heard your cry, pitied it, your every groan. I understand that. But listen, storms will come your way. Storms will call you on the telephone. You sit in the house, uh, ain't bothering nobody. It's just uh, you and the Lord. And uh, the telephone rings, uh, and it's a storm uh, on the other line. Simply because uh, Job said something. He said uh, in Job 14, verse 1, Man that is made of a woman is of a few days and filled with trouble. In this case, Jesus has commissioned his disciples to get on the boat, to yeah, get on yeah, yeah. the ship. Are y'all listening to me in here? It reminds me of Noah when God told Noah to get in the ark and to take his wife. And in that ark, he took his wife, he took himself, he took his sons, his three sons, and he took his three sons' wives. And they got on the ark. And remember that God told Noah, he said, when you get, when you go in the ark, he said, I want 
want you to take the clean animals, but as a matter of fact, I need you to take some unclean animals. Yes. You got to understand the mind of God, that God does not leave out those who are negative. Sometimes God, he purposely and in his providential will and wisdom, God, he will put negativity even in our midst. If you don't believe me, Jesus himself even called a fella by the name of Judas. Y'all know what Judas did to Jesus. Everybody needs a Judas in their life. Let me say it again. Everybody needs a Judas in your life. We're talking about everybody needs a, y'all ain't saying that, everybody needs a Judas in your life. Somebody say everybody needs a Judas. In their life. Why? Because if it were not for Judas, right. you wouldn't pray as much as you pray. Amen. Right. Amen. If it wasn't for Judas, yes. you wouldn't know what the wisdom of God is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every once in a while, you want to give God praise for Judas. Uh -huh. I said, you want to give God praise for Judas. Let me say it again, you want to thank God for every Judas you have in your life. The Judas yes. that has kissed you. Yes. There are going to be people in 2023 that's going to kiss you but really don't love you. I, I was having a discussion with uh, Deacon Williams on my way here. And I said, Deacon, I said, I've been, I'm 54. I've been living long enough to know that you can love people you don't trust. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Yeah, did you know what I just said? Yes, sir. You can love people yes. that you don't trust. Amen. And then you can trust folk you ain't in love with yet. Amen. So Jesus knew what Judas was all about. Hallelujah. And you, and you got to understand that y'all, even in this uh, getting on the ship, Jesus even allowed Judas to get on the ship with him. Amen. Amen. And I'm saying this to you that uh, all of us, we got to get on the ship. Hallelujah. I said we got to get on the ship. We got to stay on the ship because we're going somewhere. Tell somebody we're going somewhere. We're going somewhere. Anybody up in here, you, you just know we go going somewhere. It ain't going to always be like this. Amen, amen. We're on our way to the other side. Yes, amen. I mentioned Noah and his ship to you because you got to understand that oftentimes when, uh, if there's unclean and unclean animals and uh, on this ark of Noah, that uh, there was only one window, there was only one door. Yes, one window. One door. Yes. You got a lot of animals on the ship. This lets me know that the ship stuck. <laughs> but even though it stuck, it was safe. Yes, yes. <laughs> Did y'all hear what I just said? It, 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 it was safe to be on that ship. And y'all, the church is the same way. It sometimes the church, the church has a stench to it. Yes. I wish I had a witness. Hallelujah, it has, hallelujah. It has an, an odor of disobedience on it. Yes. yes. It has an odor of people who want to do what they want to do. Yes. Uh, yeah. Sometimes it sticks with an odor of, of those in leadership, but don't want to serve or want to be served. Amen, amen. Somebody say, that stinks, that stinks, that stinks. <laughs> But with all of that stench, let me get past that because I don't want y'all mind to go too far. Um, it's still good to be on board. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I'm still glad that God still has me on board. And I'm still glad to be on the battlefield of the Lord one more time. Come on, y'all got to help me preach it today. Come on, are you glad that you're still on board? Through all of the ups and downs, you have not left the ship. Yes. Let, let me ask you this question. There's been times you wanted to leave the ship, watch this, but couldn't leave the ship. Hallelujah. You, you wanted to stop serving God, but you could not stop serving God. Yes. 
You wanted to walk away from your call. You wanted to walk away from what God has charged you to do. But watch this. There's a fellow by the name of Jeremiah. Jeremiah repetitiously and continuously kept trying to quit. But every time Jeremiah would gather up his clothes, every time Jeremiah would get his briefcase together, he said, it's like a fire shut up in my bones. I don't know about you, but I, 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 I got God in my bones. Yes, yes. See, see, there's some people who just have the surface of God. Yes. But when you go into the deep things of God and people, people wondering, why are you still serving God? They're wondering, why are you still on the battlefield? Why are you still singing in the choir? Why are you still ushering in the church? Why are you still sitting there and it seems like you all by yourself? You know why? It's like fire. Yes. Hallelujah. Shut up in my mouth. Yes. Yes. You know what? And it won't leave me alone. Yes. Yes. There's a fire. I wish y'all, uh, there's a fire that's on the inside yes. of me. Yes. Yes. And it won't let me go. Can I get one good witness in the house today? So y'all, Jesus is, has commissioned his disciples to get on this ship. Yes. And I want to say this real quickly uh, again, and I don't want you to miss it. Trouble is a part of calling. Hallelujah. Trouble is a part of the calling. If you're called, Trouble comes with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're called, everybody else is going to like you. Yes. Right. Hallelujah. If you're called, everybody is, is not going to be your friend. Yes, yes. Because you are called. Yeah. The anointing of God, let me say it this way, it attracts adversity. Yes, yes. Reverend, why am I going through so much adversity? Because you're anointed. Hallelujah. Why am I going through so much hell? The hand of God is on your life. Yes, yes. And you know, I struggle with God. I'm going to tell y'all this. I'm going to get out of here. I promise you. Uh, thank y'all for letting me come. But let, let, my problem is, yes. I didn't ask for this. Mm. Amen. Say that again, Bishop. Mm. I didn't ask for this. Amen, amen. I didn't ask for the anointing of God. Yes. I wasn't seeking no position. I wasn't seeking to be no deacon in the church. I wasn't seeking to be a preacher. Amen, amen. I wasn't seeking to be no pastor. I wasn't seeking to be no bishop. Mm, come on. Because the higher you go, the more you're going to deal with. Amen, amen, amen. Let me say it again. The higher you go, the more you're going to deal with. You, you, you think they don't like you now? Mm, amen. You think they, 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 you, you think they get on your nerves now? Amen. You think they talking about you now? They're going to talk about you, trust me. Somebody on the phone right now talking about you. I don't know why you like that. Somebody ought to say that. I don't know why she act like that all the time. Can the church say amen? The musicians ain't here, so I ain't going to try to act like they're here. I want to just give this to you today because it is necessary. That if we're going to cross the other side, because we have crossed over. I need you to pause. Can you give God a crossover praise? A cross... No, 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 no. Don't play with me. I need you to give God a crossover praise. Yeah, we, we crossed over. Later on today, if the Lord permits me to, I, I, want, to, I want to preach this message. Um, at Solid Rock, and I, I want to talk about the remnant. Mm, mm, mm. Everybody say remnant. The remnant. That's what it was when Noah made it to the other side. Yes, sir. The remnant was left. Yes, amen, amen. Amen. And you ever thought that 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 God let everybody else go and left you here? Hallelujah! 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 I have a deacon who's ninety-three of age, ninety-three years of of of, of, of ninety-three years old. And he um, got very sick in November, very low sick in November, fell and broke his hip. And um, I kept hearing him say repetitiously, he said, uh, uh, I want God to let me go. I've, I've accomplished my mission. He said, God won't even let me leave. 
When there's an assignment upon your life, yes. let me say something. I said, when there is a true, authentic assignment that is upon your life, yes. Yes. y'all ain't catch it. When there's a true, authentic, real assignment upon your life, because yes. Yes. there's sometimes I don't want this. I don't want this because you got to go help people while you're hurting. Amen. Amen. You got to go pray for them while you're in pain. Yes. Yes. And don't let nobody fool you, y'all. 2023, I've noticed that it's going to be our year. It's, it's going to be our year, but we're going to still go through some stuff. Amen. Amen. We're going to go through it. We're still going to go through some stuff. Yes. Yes. In 2023. I, I don't care what they say. I don't care how. They sugarcoat it and want you to look at it. We're going to go through some things in 2023. All right? Jesus commissions his disciples to let's get on the ship. Let's go to the other side. Let's go to the other side. And we made it, y'all, to, to the other side. Amen. If I had time, I can tell you that when they made it to the other side, they ran into a demonic spirit. Amen. Jesus, when he got off the ship, he quickly ran into a man that had demons inside of him. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. I need y'all to know your Bible. Come on. Yeah. It was demons inside of this man. And yeah. It was so many demons that at the minimum, it was 2,000 demons Amen. in one man. Yeah. And you need to understand this, even as we deal with relationship, that sometimes people are dealing with demons. Yes. Yes. Y'all go quiet. I said people are dealing with demons. And the demons are dealing with them. Yes, yes. So just because we made it to the other side, that doesn't mean we're not going to deal with nothing. So preacher, why would you tell me that? I'm telling you that because we made it to the other side and now we've been through a storm. Amen. Now we know how to deal with storms differently. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can, can I get one witness in the upper here? Come on. Now that when I go through a storm, it don't make me cry like it used to. Come on. Hallelujah. Now that when I go through a storm, it don't make me hold my head down like it used to. Amen. Amen. Now, now when I go through storms, I know how to smile through the storm. Now when I go through a storm, watch this, because uh, you got to understand uh, that in this text, Jesus uh, is on board. Amen. And as long as the Lord is on board, everything uh, is going to be all right. Y'all don't believe me. There was this family that went on a cruise. They got on this cruise. Uh, Minister Ramina, they got on this cruise. Uh, and when they went on the cruise, the cruise got into a storm. And on that storm, uh, their bags and their luggage uh, began to be tossed uh, to and from. And the water was beating up on uh, the ship, trying uh, to get in uh, on the ship. Uh, and as everybody uh, is going crazy, this little girl uh, is laid uh, on her pillow and she is fast to sleep. They wake up this little girl and say, don't you know that there is a storm that is going on on the ship? She said, yeah, I know. I heard it. I even hear y'all. They say, why are you asleep? She said, one question I want to ask all of you. She said, is daddy still on board? Is my daddy still on board? And I've come by to tell you uh, in 2023 uh, that as long uh, as daddy uh, is still on board, uh, I'm going to learn uh, how to go home uh, and go to sleep. Uh, as long uh, as daddy uh, is on board, uh, I'm going to learn uh, how to put a smile uh, on my face. Uh, as long uh, as daddy uh, is still on board, uh, I'm going to learn uh, how to open up my mouth uh, and give God God the glory. Uh, is there anybody here uh, that will say as long uh, as daddy is on board, uh, I got to learn uh, that if he is on board, uh, that everything uh, is going to be all right. Uh, can I get one witness here uh, that you can open up your mouth uh, and as long uh, as God is in control. Uh, and that's all I want to tell you. Uh, that we crossed over uh, to the other side uh, but I'm so glad uh, that the Lord
Lord, uh, he's still with us uh, on the other side. Uh, how do I know uh, that he's still with me? Uh, he woke me up uh, early this morning, uh, started me on my way. Uh, how do I know uh, he's on the other side? Because uh, I'm still moving. Uh, I'm still doing uh, the work and will of God. Uh, can you stand on your feet? Uh, I know there's no musicians right now, uh, but can you be the music uh, by clapping your hands uh, and giving God the glory uh, and lifting him up uh, and say, Lord, uh, we thank you uh, for letting us make it uh, to the other side. Uh, you want to give God the glory. Uh, and the Bible says uh, when Jesus calmed the storm, uh, they asked this question, uh, who is this uh, that know how uh, to calm the storm? Uh, who is this uh, that even the wind uh, and the sea, uh, they obey his command? Uh, who is this uh, that woke me up this morning? Uh, who is this uh, that makes me laugh uh, when nothing is funny? Uh, who is this uh, that put a pep in my step uh, and a dip in my hip? Uh, who is this? Uh, I come by to tell you uh, I know who he is. Uh, he's God all by himself. Uh, ain't the Lord all right? Uh, somebody say yes uh, if you know who he is. Uh, he's the same God uh, that went to a hill uh, called Calvary. Uh, he's the same God. Uh, they whip him all night long. Uh, he's the same God. Uh, they hung him high. Uh, they stretched him wide. Uh, they dropped him low. Uh, he's the same God. Uh, look at somebody uh, and say, neighbor, say, neighbor. He's the same God uh, yesterday. Uh, same God today. Uh, same God forevermore. Uh, shall say God. Say yes. Ain't God all right? It's the same God that they put on the cross. Same God that they laid in a ball to. Same God that got up early Sunday morning. Show all power. See, y'all got to have, come on. Say all power. Say all power. Say yes. If you believe God, come on, give God praise. Come on, give God the glory. Give him the honor for the things that he has done. Every hand lifted, every hand lifted. Every hand lifted. How great is our God. All will see how great is our God. The world will see how great how great yes. is our God. As your hands are lifted, there's nobody like him. Can you praise him without music? Can you give him praise without an organ? Yes. And acknowledge who he is. Yes. Thank you, Lord. As your hand is lifted, I need you to open your mouth, listen to me, and say, we made it to the other side. The soul writer said this, millions didn't make it, but I am one of the ones. I said, I am one of the ones that did. Because of that, mm, do you know how much wrong you did, but he still let you live? Okay, y'all know what I'm You know you ain't been all right, but you still made it, and God has made it look like you ain't been through nothing. So I know what T.D. Jakes mean when he say, you don't look like what you've been through. Amen. Some people have no idea when you come to church on Sunday what you've been through during the week. Amen. But say, I'm still here. Yes. 
And I made it. And church, let me tell you this, Cedar Grove. God is up to something. Listen to me. God, open your mouth. God is up to something. He ain't through with you yet. He is not through with you yet. I I will say this and I'm done, but I, I had so many sermons in my in my belly. Um, I thought about um, the valley of the dry bones. And uh, God asked Ezekiel, can these bones live? Yes, yes, yes. Ezekiel was a smart man. He was. Come on, Bishop. Ezekiel didn't say no. No, he did not. <laughs> he didn't even say, yeah, they can live. He said, Lord, you know. Yes, Lord. God, you know. Hallelujah. And told him to do something strange. He said, preach. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Right. Preach to him. Yes, man. And when the, words, when the word got out, Cedar Grove, I want the word to get out. Yes, hallelujah. And Cedar Grove is back. Yes, come on, come on, Chad. I need, come on, I need the word to get out. Yes, hallelujah. Cedar Grove is open. Yes, yes, yes. Preaching is going on. I need the word to get out. Y'all ought to help me give God glory. Come on. Let the word get out. Yes, yes. That we're in this place. Yes. And I believe God is going to do something great. Listen to me, church. They start prophesying in the noise. The Bible says it was a noise in that valley. Amen. And we need to make some noise. Yes, yes, yes. yes. We, we, yeah, we may have been in the valley, but we crossed over. Yes. yes. Ushers are still ushering. Yes. Yes, yes. Choir still singing. This young lady yes. sung her heart yes. out today. Yes. Let me tell you what God is going to do for you. Now, I got to get out of here. I got to go. I got to preach again. But because of your faithfulness. Yes, yes. Listen to me. Yeah. Because of your faithfulness. Mm. You, you have a desire to worship. Yes, yes. I hear it in you. Hallelujah. God is going to birth something out in you. Yes. You said, preacher, why don't I have it yet? He said, you ain't asked for it. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. When you ask him for it. Yes. And you seek for it. Yes. And you start knocking for it. Yes. Mom. Mom. I don't let people tell me what can't be done. Yes. I do it anyway. Amen. A few weeks ago, they didn't know how I was going to get over 500 toys to give away. I went around knocking on doors. Right? Begging. I ain't too proud to beg. I made it happen. We gave out bikes. We gave out skateboards. We gave out scooters. Right? I see this church filled up with toys. I Amen. Make up by myself. 2023. Come on. 2023. I got the problem. I must be here by myself. I see it <laughs> with children. Yes. Come on. They're so happy. They say, Mom, we got to go back to church next time. Amen. Amen. It wasn't Santa Claus. It was Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. God is <clears throat> I'm saying this, y'all. I'm in my ride. I promise you. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Miss Maddie. Hallelujah. I'm going to say mama. From now on, I'm going to say mama Maddie. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to say mama Maddie. I, I want to say this to you. Thank you for not letting the doors be closed. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. No, 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 thank you for that. This is the Lord's church. Amen. Amen. And greater things is coming. Yes. I'm no prophet, but I do have a gift of understanding things. God is going to do something great. Yes. Can the church say amen? Amen. Amen. You made it to the other side. Let me let me pray over you, and I'm going to get the offering. Let me pray over you. But before you lift your hand, I want to ask you a few questions. Has God been good to you? Yeah, I want you to keep that hand lifted. No, no. If you're sure, raise that hand. I want to see that hand up there. Come on. Let the enemy know. I made it. I made it. He's been good to me. It's not because you did everything right. Amen. Here's the cool part about it. God chooses who he wants. Amen. Hallelujah. Some stayed. Some was laid. Yes. I've been to so many funerals. So many homeborn services. But we're still here, right? Amen. Hallelujah. We got work to do, church. Yeah. We got work to do. Um, 
But we made it. Let me see that hand. Keep that hand lifted because you made it. Secondly, you feel an urge to be more committed to him. I want you to lift that other hand. Yes. I feel an urge I need to be more committed. Amen. I can come on. I need you to lift that hand. I, I can do more than I've been doing. Yes, yes. Trouble, trouble will have a way of sitting you down sometimes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. You ain't in that Bible like you used to. Amen. But here is a recommitment. I need you to say that today. I recommit myself. I recommit myself to you. Even if you don't feel that, say it on faith. Yes, yes. I recommit myself to you. Say, oh God, in Jesus' name, let us say amen. Amen. Before we take up our offering, listen, come help me with this. I am on the battlefield. We come on, and I promised him that I will serve him till I die. I am on the battlefield for my Lord. I hear you. Come on, and I was the lonely idol. Come on, Dave. And I was the sinner too, and I heard. 